Hey guys, HW. I'm at Sydney International Airport. And what I plan to do is to test out the various travel options from Sydney International Airport into the city. And we're going to be testing the train, Uber and taxi to find out which one's best. And the metrics we're using are cost, comfort, overall time, booking time, waiting time, and I'm going to give a bonus point for any transport that really tickles my fancy. I chose Central Station as the end point because I don't want to guess where you're going to stay in the city, but bear in mind the train from the airport does head onto the city circle line, so there are some other options in the city to jump off. You could jump off at uh, Town Hall, Circular Quay, Wynyard, it's your choice, but there's only two minutes between each station. Oh, did I mention before why I'm filming in the peak of the morning traffic? Because Sydney Airport's not a 24-hour airport. There's a curfew. You can't fly into Sydney Airport between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. So what you find is most of the flights between Europe and the Americas into Australia come in after 6 a.m. in the morning. All right, we've exited our flight in the arrivals hall and we've made our way over to the Volche Cafe to grab a coffee before getting on the first mode of transport, which is the train. All right, time starts now. I'm using my Opal card, but you can also use a credit card to tap on and tap off. Next train's only three minutes away. That's a pretty good start. I cheated a bit. I looked at the time on the train. We're making really good time. But let's stop the clock when we get into the actual centre of Central Station. There's the clock. Twenty-five minutes and twenty-eight seconds. That was a pretty good trip, nice and comfortable. Got on the train really easily. Train terminals like right off the edge of the terminal for the international flights. You know what time it is now. It's time for coffee. All right, I booked the Uber. Supposed to be four minutes away. Here's the starting point again for Loche Cafe. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. Time starts now. I've 
I've got to try to find the, uh, the Uber, Uber zone that I've got to go to. not great is it look at the massive queue yeah have a look at this queue I can already tell this is going to be a debacle So again, they've recently changed the location of where the Uber cars are. So that could have something to do with this. Tell you what, this is not ideal. Still massive queue. Almost 20 minutes now, still waiting in the queue. Haven't even left the airport yet. Almost 26 minutes now, still waiting in the queue. Almost half an hour, it's over half an hour now, and I've just been allocated a bay number. So, waiting for my driver now. Half an hour, <laughs> I'm not even in the car yet. This is dismal. Dismal, dismal. Finally, there's a car arrived. Finally made it to Central, let's get to the clock. There's the clock. Let's get underneath it. Stop the clock. It's not great, is it? Uber's definitely uh, down the bottom of the list so far. Let's get on to day three. All right, here we are, back at the International Terminal again for day three, the last day of our comparison of transport options. And I'm back in the morning peak again. Alright, here we are pretending that we've just come off our flight out of the gates into the arrival hall. Time starts now. On the way to get the taxi. See how the taxis perform as compared to Uber. So 
doesn't appear to be anyone waiting for taxis. I just see these people here. I oh, know that's Uber, I think. All right, look at that. Straight to the taxi man waiting with us, waiting for us. No luggage. Thanks, man. Already the taxi's killing Uber. There was no wait time. Just straight into the taxi and off we go to Central Station. Thank you. Let's get into Central Station and get under the clock. All right, there's the clock again. And we stop the clock now. Let's go and find a nectar now and tally up the results and work out what's the best way to get from Sydney Airport into the city. You join me outside the JP Morgan Tower, just off the Pitt Street Mall, and we're gonna tally up the results now. See how they all went. And I'll add a chart at the end of this so that you can have a look at yourself. Look, have a look yourself. The train. I gave a a point to for the cost. It was only twenty dollars and twenty eight cents. The waiting time was excellent. It was only like three to four minutes before the train arrived. The comfort was good on the train. There wasn't many people on it. The overall time was 25 minutes and 28 seconds, give or take a few milliseconds, so very good. And the bonus, I gave it a bonus point because of the time and the convenience of it, just being able to walk straight out of the international terminal down the escalator onto the train into the city. So the train scored a five. Uber, now Uber was another story. The cost was $40.92, so I gave them a point for that because if you've you know, got a group of people, that's quite a reasonable charge. The waiting time, it was over half an hour wait in the queue, shocking. I will give them a little bit of leeway there. They have got a new system at the moment, a new ticketing system, and they have moved location of the cars. But still, I checked today um, when I caught the taxi, still the Uber queue was way too long. The overall comfort, it was okay, so I gave him a point for that. So all up, Uber scored two points. Now to taxi. Taxi, unbelievable. Walked out of the terminal, straight to the taxi rank, literally within seconds. Jumped in the cab, off I went. Taxi was nice and uh, comfortable, clean. The taxi driver was quite talkative, asking me questions, telling me about a few different things. Um, so I gave a point for the uh, weight as well because uh, was, there was no weight. Comfort one, um, overall time one. So the overall time for the taxi was 26 minutes and 38 seconds. So it absolutely demolished Uber. So quite good. So overall taxi four. So if we tally up the results and again I'll put a chart at the end. Train scored five points. 
Uber scored two points and Taxi scored four points. So definitely if you're coming to Sydney right now, I would suggest if you're one or two people, maybe a couple, I would jump on the train every day of the week. If you're a bit bigger, maybe you've got two kids, maybe you've got the average family of four people, then I'd probably catch a taxi. And that's HW's comparison of the main transport options out at Sydney International Airport into the city. Now, let me enjoy this nectar.